Welcome back guys to another cooking segment on A Rich and Jazzy Life. Um, tonight I am making something different. I've never actually made this before. Um, and I'm going to try it out because why not? <laughs> cooking is all about trying new things, not eating the same thing over and over again. Well, I was to say making the same thing over and over again. So tonight I am making a, jer a fried jerk pork chop. I've made jerk pork chops many, many times, but I've never actually fried it. So I'm going to try that. I saw I was inspired by this um, from a recipe I saw online. And so I said, you know what? I'm going to try it myself because I have lots of jerk seasoning. Okay, so I have some thick cut, center cut pork chops. I purchased these from my local Publix. And I have four of these nice sized pork chops. And um, yeah, what I seasoned them with was the Ochos Rios garlic and um, garlic scallion allspice seasoning. Hope that's picking up. I use the Walker wood, Walker's Wood traditional Jamaican jerk seasoning, the mild. And then I also use a dry Jamaican jerk seasoning that I purchased at my local farmer's market. I cleaned my pork chops and I seasoned them with all three seasonings. And this has been seasoning for the past 40, not 48 hours, about uh, 36 hours. Okay, about a day and a half I had it in for because I just didn't feel like making this yesterday. So I said, you know what? It's still gonna be good if I make it tonight. Okay, so these are nice and seasoned. And um, for my side, now you can make, I know a lot of people don't like making rice out of a box, but I told you guys before in a vlog that um, my favorite type of box rice, when I purchase rice out of a box, is the Goya rice. You can't go wrong with Goya rice in a box if you want a quick rice. This, they, they have so many different flavors, so many different kinds. So tonight I'm making the rice and pigeon peas version. This one I actually really like. So um, I'm gonna make that. And then I'm also going to heat up. If you guys always purchase this, leave a comment below. The, the um, frozen vegetables in a bag that you can see. I really, really like um, having the frozen vegetables in a bag that you can steam because when you don't have time to um, you know make something fresh from scratch these are just as good so look at look out for these at your local grocery store by birds I this is the Brussels sprouts sea salt and cracked pepper you just put it in the microwave for about five minutes okay so for this um, dish I'm using my cast iron skillet I'm actually adding some vegetable oil to the pan to fry my pork chops a nice amount. And I have my Ziploc bag with some flour, not too much, because it's only four pork chops that I'm gonna coat my pork chops in. I'm gonna let the oil heat up for about another five minutes so they can get nice and hot so you can hear sizzle when you put the pork chops in. Coated the chop with flour. Shake off any excess. Drop it in the oil. gonna fry two at a time because this me if I put the third one in it's just me stretching and I have four so I might as well let these two fry together you know what I mean okay so I'm gonna be adding my rice to the boiling water I put a tablespoon of butter in the water and simple add the packet stir it up and call it a day on one of these vlogs I'll show you guys how I make my rice 
from scratch, but not tonight, darling. <laughs> this is a quick and easy um, rice. So if you're looking for quick rice, go with the Goya. Can't go wrong. Okay, so my pork chops should be should be ready for turning. I had them cooking for about eight minutes on one side. You can really see that jerk seasoning in there. And just let it fry. Let it fry. complete if you're just happen to watch it in the middle I made a fried jerk pork chop it's my first time making this um, a rice and gondolas by Goya and some salt and cracked sea salt and pepper Brussels sprouts by bird's eye mm. and yeah that's that's the dinner it took me about 30 minutes to make this in total and uh, yeah it looks good Looks good. This looks great. Right. I've never heard of a jerk fried pork. pork chop. Did I say jerk fried? I just think I just said jerk pork chop. Jerk fried pork chop. Emphasis on the fried. This is my first time making a fried jerk pork chop. I made many jerk pork chops before, right. not fried. And uh, we're gonna use this as a dipping sauce, the Grace Jamaican style jerk barbecue sauce. Um, we're gonna use that as a dipping sauce. So let's eat, girls. You hungry? Well, they already started eating, so. Probably not too bad. Let me see what this fried. Yeah, All right, tell them what you got. Um, I got rice and. And what is this? And I got. Brussels sprouts. Rice, Brussels sprouts, and what is this? And what is this? Daddy. Brussels sprout. Any meat on rice plate is always chicken. Mm -hmm. Brussels sprout and rice. And rice and chicken. Mm -hmm. And with that, chicken, chicken, and rice. Right, four. Rice, rice. Mm, wow. And, and don't forget, please, it wow. does, you cannot, um, kids, kids don't eat these, but these them? are disgusting. Yeah. Okay, so eat those because those are disgusting? Yeah. What? But the Brussels sprouts? Yeah, but we don't like it. No, you do like it. Well, you need to have vegetables. How are you going to grow big and strong? Wow, this is good, man. Nope. This is really good. Yeah. This is my first time making this, like I said before. It's got that. It's like there's nothing better than a fried pork chop. But then there's nothing better than jerk. This is very good, very different. <laughs> The jerk pork, but this is wow. That combination works. And this pork chop is nice and moist. Where'd you get the idea for it? Did you see somebody make it? Yeah. It was a, um, some guy in Brooklyn. He sells food from his house, and he made this. Mm. Oh man. I'm like, well, clearly I can't pick up the food in Brooklyn, so I'm gonna make it myself. <laughs> cut, cut the middleman out. Royce, Royce, I mean, Rain actually got food. Really good, Rain. And how the food, Mommy? It's very good. How about you? How did you eat? How's your food? Good! Yes. How about Roy? <laughs> I said, I said, Roy. Yes. I said, Roy, so Roy, Daddy. Oh, well, we don't want to ask for twice. <laughs> Oopsie, the rice right here. So no. we're eating in our um eating kitchen <laughs> part of our house. That's why it looks a little different from other, our other mukbangs. We said, let's switch it up. <laughs> Being that we are in the house doing social distancing, which I hope you all are practicing, um, we decided to visit a new spot in the house <laughs> for dinner tonight. We changed it up. 
different oh, restaurants tonight. Nice. <laughs> we actually eat here. This is our normal t place to eat. Mm -hmm. The girls have their own table they eat at. Where are you going? But we gave him a space for the mukbang. What's she doing? Um, she wanted to clean herself off, off camera. So, how's the social distancing going for you guys? Have you guys gone out to the grocery stores? How's it been going? I know today Richard had to run out to, where'd you go, Trader Joe's? Mm -hmm. So we were a little bit low on some grocery items, so. Wait. Where are you going, Roy? I said, let me make a trip to the grocery store. So I went to Trader Joe's to pick up a lot of, a lot of essential things that we okay, just need for day to day. Okay, I need you to, to stay seated and eat the rest of your dinner. So, the whole vibe out there is crazy. It's crazy. Like, you feel like it's the end of the world when you get out there. Like, people, it's just weird. I have not been outside this house. And, <laughs> like, I don't even know the last time I've been outside this house. I lost track of days. It's been over a week. And, yeah. And, and, and I have to show you I made. Okay. I made purple and see? Yeah. I got purple and pink on the teacher. Now voice feels like she has to run in your And and I got these right there and, and right there with the boys. Recognize them. Let's put it away so you can eat your dinner. Can I have this please? Thank you. We'll keep it right here. Okay. It's your food rain. Okay, and let's turn the show it. Mm -hmm. Okay, I need you to eat your dinner. Because okay. you're not going to get hey, your dessert. I'm that's one. <laughs> no, 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 no. Hey. But why is it showing tonight? It's okay. So it's getting a little wild here with the girls. They're not used to eating here. And we, we keep them at their own table for a reason. Because <laughs> they need to eat with the kids and we need to eat with the adults. Yeah, we got a reason. We just, <laughs> it's better that way, trust me. So anyway, um, I ran out today to Trader Joe's and the whole vibe when you get out is so crazy. When you get out there, you feel like it's the end of the world. I mean, people are acting funny. You can't touch anyone. You can't, you can't get too close to people. You can see the awkwardness. I in mean, there. you don't normally touch people when you go out anyway. No, but <laughs> it, it's like a, it's like an awkward vibe out there. It's this real, real strange, awkward vibe. So, yeah, it's just strange. And the, the workers, you could, you know what it is? People are scared. Ultimately, people are scared and you can tell. You, I mean, can you blame them? No, because I was scared. Mm-hmm. You know, before you leave, you wash your hands. When I got there, wash hands. Before I walked in, they're cleaning down the car. I had my own Lysol to clean down the car. They already cleaned it. Then, um, clean the steering wheel and everything when I get back home. It's just, it's weird. It's weird. And it's scary. And, yeah, I'll just stay inside. Yeah. <laughs> I mean, I do go out, like, in my yard, in front of my house. You guys may have seen, like, we still have we still have people that we have collabed with because you know we promote different boutiques and companies and stuff so you know the girls go out and take pictures for those companies or whatever and the clothes we're really not going anywhere we just take the pictures and come back inside the house hi business women hi. doing business from home yeah. working from home contact ram Nareen and ram Nareen associates you guys can get these outfits from Pat Pat, and we'll link them below. Shoo, Shoo away those bees, girls. Let's go inside for some Shoo. business. Come on, girls. That's about it. That's all the little out the outdoors I'm getting. Um, tomorrow I'll probably take them out for just maybe I'll walk around the block in their wagon or something. Yeah. Just to, or put them on their tricycles and let them go. As long as the sunlight, I've been letting them go outside and play. Yeah, but in Atlanta. It the rained. past few days, it just rained. All this is rained. A lot. I'm surprised it was a nice sunny day too. It's funny, they woke up this morning, came into our bedroom, and they said, good morning. It's not raining. 
Pure Ro Royce is the one. She was like, good morning. It's not raining. It's not raining. It stopped raining. Because mm -hmm. I told him if it stops raining, I'll take you outside. So I hope you like this. Cook them in jazzy slash mukbang. Right. Yep. Combination vlog. And as you know, all the rest of our vlogs will be inside the house. We're coming up with things to do around the house. And that's pretty much it. <laughs> we don't know um, how long this is going to go on for. But we hope that you guys are entertained with us just being in the house and just seeing us tomorrow every day. Well, this can't even be our, it's not even our everyday routine because it's not normal life for us. So it's it's different for me because I'm home every single day. So um, yeah, just come along with this journey with us and just see what we're doing. I hope you guys enjoy these vlogs that we're trying to put out every day, if not every other day. And we hope that you guys are watching them. Go back and watch the ones you have not watched previously. You're not doing anything else but sit in your house. So watch us. <laughs> Give us, a yeah. Give us a yeah. Um, Give us a thumbs up and all that other jazz. And I think that's pretty much it. We really don't have much else to talk about today. And um, come on, Raina Royce. You want to say bye to everybody? Come on, Royce. Come on, Ray. Come on. Okay. Ray is in her mood. Alrighty. Well, guys. Oh, here she comes. So we just gonna put on some music. We've been jamming to these DJs. If you guys don't know, go on Instagram and check out the different DJs that is playing. A lot of choices. A lot of choices. Yeah. DJ Nice is probably the most popular one. Um, I've been jamming to him. So yeah, go on Instagram and have a party in your house, because that's what we've been doing. We've been, and we also went on, what, the Uba Soka? Yeah, Uba we did the Soka party, we did, yeah. we did a few parties. And we're actually having a good time. We're we actually, might have a, we might go to the club again tonight. Right, exactly. We're trying to decide which club <laughs> we want to go to, if we want to do reggae, or we might, we might switch it up tonight. Right, I'm like, I haven't been to so many parties in a whole year, like for years, <laughs> in yeah. the past week. I've been to more parties this past week than I have in years. So, um, yeah, check out those parties. It's definitely something for you to virtual do. Virtual parties. These virtual yeah. parties. If you guys are tuning in these virtual parties, leave a comment below and tell me who you guys have been listening to because I like to check them out. Okay. Yeah, we want to switch it up every day. Right. All right, guys. Well, until the next vlog, and we'll see you tomorrow or the day after tomorrow. Continue to live a rich and jazzy life. life.